creating a discrete probability distribution. So we, we need to know a couple of things. First of all, a discrete probability distribution means that my variable is countable. Discrete random variables are countable as opposed to continuous random variables which are measurable. So I know this is a discrete probability distribution because my random variable is countable. So let's look at this example. This is probably the easiest way to understand how to create them. Just look at an example. A company tracks the number of sales new employees make each day during a 100-day probationary period. The results for one new employee are shown. Construct and graph a probability distribution. So um, we've collected data. We've got a probability experiment, or we've, we've collected data from an experiment, and this is just the number of sales uh, per day for a particular worker at this company. So let's look at, take a look at this table. We need to understand what this table means before we can start to set things up. So let's see, we've got sales per day, and then we've got the number of days. So in other words, there were, if I look at this a little bit more closely, there were 16 days where he sold zero. He had no sales at all. There were 19 days where he had one sale. There were 15 days where he had two sales, 21 days where he had three sales, and so on and so forth until we see the entire distribution. And this was collected, um, this was collected over a 100-day uh, probationary period. So these numbers, 16, 19, 15, 21, 9, 10, 18, and two should add up to 100 and uh, and they do so <clears throat> to create to turn this table this is a frequency distribution this one right here is just a frequency distribution in order to turn this frequency distribution into a probability distribution I just need to figure out based on this data what is the probability that this person had zero sales on a particular day that I choose so in other words what we're saying is if I randomly choose a day what is the probability they have zero sales? What, if I randomly choose a day, what is the probability that they will have six sales? It just depends on, or it all is based on this data over here in the frequency distribution. Well, it just so happens that since this is out of 100, we're going to change these probabilities into a decimal. So this is, for the first one here, is 16 out of 100 is the probability that he had zero sales in a particular day. So that's 0.16. There were 19 days where he had one sale, so 19 out of 100 is going to give me 0.19. And then there were 15 days where he had two sales, so the probability that I choose a day where he has two sales is 15 out of 100, or 0.15. And in this case, it's going to continue to work like that until I get the entire probability distribution filled. And there is my probability distribution. Another thing to think about with probability distributions is it's just, it's really just a relative frequency distribution. Because didn't I just take the frequencies and turn them into percents or decimals according to the total amount. 16 out of the total is 0.16. 19 out of the total amount is 0.19, and so on and so forth all the way down the list. So that's how you can create a, a probability distribution. Now, it was just coincidence that the total here was 100. Um, the total will not always be 100. Sometimes you're going to have an example, you may have an example that may be different than 100. Um, but in this case, all you have to do is change your frequencies into relative frequencies, which is the same as finding the probability of each one for a discrete probability distribution.